Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you what's a linear search algorithm and how we can implement it into the Python. So, let's start. Let me explain to you what's linear search algorithm. First of all, we have a data set. In this case, we have an array. And we have a variable called search. This will be the item we're going to search. For example, let's search for cell. Sorry, cell. So, in this algorithm, it the search logic will be like, first of all, it will take the first element and compare it with the element we're searching. If they match, we'll get a true result. If they don't, then it'll pass to the next one. And then compare again. Then pass to the next one. And then compare again. Till it finds it. And when it finds it, it will return true. If we search for an item that isn't in this array, it will go through the whole the array, and if you can't find it, then we will receive a false statement. So let's start coding this algorithm. First of all, we're going to create a function saying that linear search, and we're going to need two parameters, let's call it x and y, or let's call it r and search, because it will be much easier to understand it. First of all, we're gonna need the for loop here for e in and then a range operator here, then we're going to take the length of our array. I'm going to explain why are we going to do, why are we doing this in a moment. Then we'll create an if statement, and then index an array, and if that equals the searched, we're going to get a return true. Let me explain what we did here. So we are getting the range, the length of this array, which is 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. We have a length of 11 here. Let's check that. Alright, length are here, and when we run this, we should get 11 here. Yeah. And we're gonna use this 11 to index throughout the array. So we're gonna the output of this for loop would be 1 through 11 and when we input this as an index we're going to search the entire index in this for loop and if if the number we're searching for isn't there we're going to get a return we're going to get return true and the item we're searching for searching will not could not be in the first place so that's why we need the else statement here saying to continue if it's not the statement that we're looking for. Later, if we, if nothing here, if the return true method doesn't get triggered here, we'll need the else statement for our full for loop saying return false. And this is our entire algorithm here. Let me explain this one to you one more time. First of all, we're iterating over the length of this array, which will give us a range between 0 to 10, through 11. So 11 numbers here, including 10. Then we're going to index those numbers. We're going to use these numbers as indexes and index throughout the array. And if the any index what it matches with the number we're searching for, we'll get a true statement. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, we continue until it does. And if the for loop ends and still doesn't get a return, it doesn't get a true statement here, we're going to return false. Let's test this out. Let's call our function here, passing parameters array and search here. And we're going let's search for seven here. And when we run it, we're going to get true. If you look for 100, we should get false. As you can see, we got a false. If you search for 21, we should get true. Indeed, we did. So this is the algorithm here. If you didn't understand anything, make sure to write in comments. I'll try to respond as fast as I can. I hope this was clear for you. And I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Signing off.